Hi, right, welcome to the Three Ring Circus. I'm your host, Madhouse Jack. Today we're going to be installing a VPN client from Private Internet Access. Stay tuned. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is obviously go to the site. I'm already here. Um, as you can see, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download their VPN client software. Now for this, this is new, or at least I don't know how new. They didn't have this last time I installed it, but they do have now a stable version and the latest version. For this, I'm probably going to stick with the stable. So we just download that. I actually already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel out on this. And let's see, let me open up Dolphin here and go to where I have it saved. I have it saved here in the Publics folder. Now, once again, the great thing about Dolphin, all we have to do is hit, oh, not F3, F4, and it brings up our terminal right there here. And for this, you're going to want to follow the same, pretty much the same exact thing. Because we are actually in the folder where this is, we don't have to type CD downloads. Um, let's see here. Now, we're going to want to run this code right here. Let me move this kind of out of the way. We're going to want to run this code exactly how it says to do it. So we want to hit Control C. Go into our terminal here, control shift V, hit enter, boom. Now we're ready to move over to this one. Once again, can just control C or copy, right click and copy if you want to do it that way. Go back to here, control shift V. And now we just wait a little bit. Like I said, I like this cursor it's very active very animated okay now it's asking us for passwords it took a little while and I don't know why but as you can see it's downloading and installing whatever it needs to boom it's done it should pop up now yep there we go of course it's going to tell you, okay, this is the June 18th, so this is the same one I actually installed previously. I don't know if the latest version has any differences. So we can hit F4, that way the terminal won't open up next time we open Dolphin. I'm going to close Dolphin out here. Now for this I usually go to Advanced Settings, and then you can enter whatever port forwarding. I do port forward this. Truthfully, this PIA, Mace, Block Ads, Trackers, and Malware while you're connected to the VPN, I actually don't really think this works. Or if it does, it does such a good job, you don't know it works. Um, so I will turn that on. VPN Kill Switch. For this, I won't turn it on. This is a desktop. I do recommend having you turn this on if you are using it in uh, on a laptop. If it's a work laptop, you're going to probably want to get, you know, somebody from the IT department there to help you because dealing with all that stuff is a headache. Now, use small packets once again for this. I would recommend this on a laptop again, but since I'm on a desktop, I'm not too worried. Uh, nobody's really told me what to do here, so I just kind of leave that. Like I said, I do have a port. I will probably enter that in. I just can't remember it offhand. Actually going over to another browser here and accessing my router, or as some of the English folk call it, router. Oh, it looks like there's a firmware update that I have to do. Uh, I'll do that after this, obviously. Since it's nothing too much here, go to port forwarding. Like I said, whatever ports you have, you'll probably have it set up to port forward through your router. Uh, you put that in right here, and then of course, your whatever your username and password. 
after you already sign up for their service. Uh, like I said, I do recommend this. In the U.S., there are tons of very fast servers. I'm not sure about their auto connect, whether it really connects to the fastest. I've had times where it didn't. So, I don't know. Pretty much, this is how easy it is to set up private internet access on your computer, whether it's Arch, Ubuntu, Debian. All right, we're back real quick here. I entered in all my information there inside the client. It is connected right now. One of the nice things, there's a speed test extension, ooh, which doesn't seem to be working. I think I got a refresh. Oh, there we go. There. Because it did connect to a new IP. It probably freaked out a little there. There is a speed test extension you can put in your browser. I usually do it in Vivaldi, so if I need to find something. Let's see what the uh, speed here. Good ping there of 30. Getting a very decent speed here. I know there's better in here in Minneapolis or St. Paul. We have Comcast or CenturyLink. I have CenturyLink, and as you can see, you don't need a ton of speed really, because more than likely your network card's not going to bring it in. Your browser's not going to be downloading anything super fast like this, because a lot of times it's the server where you're downloading from their speed, anyways. But as you can see, I'm more than happy with that speed there. One of these days I'll have to stream live, especially with an upload like that. But this is installing private internet access VPN on any Ubuntu, Arch, or Debian base. Just follow their instructions here on the download. You'll have zero problems. Unless you don't have an account, then you're really going to have a problem. I'm Madhouse Jack. This is a three-ring circus. Have fun, guys.